Every day since the beginning of the year, over 150 migrants walk or are driven up a long dirt road in upstate New York to a small ditch and a white concrete obelisk marking the border between the United States and Canada. There, on Roxham Road, they will illegally cross over the ditch into the small Quebec municipality of saint bernard de la colle to make an asylum claim in Canada. They're part of a growing wave of migrants from every corner of the world walking over the border at Roxham Road that began in 2017 and is showing no signs of slowing down. While visiting Roxham Road during a frigid snowstorm recently, National Post saw two adults with a small plastic bag and three children adorned in small, light winter jackets, slowly making their way up hundreds of meters of the U.S. side of the snow-covered road. As they approached a white obelisk, which marks the spot of the U.S. and Canada border, two RCMP officers exited a large, barn-like structure on the other side and greeted them. Okay, Turkish? Turkish. Turkish? Okay, okay. So I'll do that in English then. So that's the border, okay, America, Canada. The RCMP officers warned them that crossing the border was illegal and they would be arrested if they walked into Canada. The children kicked surrounding snowbanks as a woman took on the impossible task of trying to keep snow out of their porous crocs. Faced with a set of five bewildered faces, the RCMP officer tried his warning in French. One RCMP officer pulled out a phone and spoke into it so an AI-generated voice could relay the message, first in Turkish, then in Kurdish. Officers continued to attempt to communicate using an app on their phone. And after 10 minutes of laborious attempts at communication, the Kurdish man finally uttered the two words border guards needed to hear before the migrants could cross over and have their asylum requests processed. Canada and a refugee. If you want to be a refugee, you'll be arrested here. Okay. That happens often, and it can be a real struggle to deal with the language barriers, the RCMP agent later told National Post. Residents also say they're also seeing a concerning increase of migrants trying to cross from Canada into the U.S. using other nearby passages. The number of migrants crossing from Canada to the U.S. has grown so much that on March 6th, the Department of Homeland Security announced it was relocating 25 border agents to patrol the Canadian border around Quebec. For all the trouble the unofficial border crossing has caused her town, saint bernard de la Colle Mayor Estelle Musy applauded the level of collaboration she's received from the police, border agents, and her federal liberal MP, Brenda Shanahan. As soon as I have questions, as soon as there is something that needs to be addressed, they collaborate very well. I can't complain. I don't think the RCMP is happy with what is happening at Roxham Road either, the mayor said. After they're intercepted by RCMP agents, asylum seekers are brought into a large barn-like facility where they are processed, receive a quick medical checkup to address any urgent needs, and then begin a security screening. Their bags, if they have any, are also scanned before being loaded up into a police van that will carry the bags to the nearby official border crossing at saint bernard de la Colle, roughly five kilometers to the east. After they are processed, the asylum seekers are loaded up into a separate shuttle and also brought to the official border crossing. There, they are loaded into a new bus that is funded by the federal government and relocated to a hotel elsewhere in Quebec, Ontario, or now Nova Scotia.